Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. I've put together this UJK Path Guide System Extras video, the very first one, uh, as early as I could to catch some of the questions that have been asked already and to get the answers out there, probably before many of you receive your systems. And I'm going to start straight away with some questions about the 20mm cutter. Now it's important for me to remind everyone that before you use the 20mm drill bit in the guide block that you must use a little drop of oil every time you use it. So only a little bit of oil is needed and that will go all day with no problem at all with that little bit of oil. And when you move it to the other uh, guide position here, uh, add a little drop of oil again and just smear it along with your finger so it's over the whole of the drill shaft. Now I've been asked several times how deep you can uh, cut with the 20mm cutter once it's in the 20mm guide block. So what I've done is I've positioned my cutter in this chuck. Uh, forget the fact I've taken the drill away, and I've not put that at the very limit. I've put it at what I consider to be a, a sort of pretty normal uh, depth into the chuck. And, and then let, letting that rest on top of the uh, bronze bushing uh, leaves me with a cut depth of 34 millimetres. Now, in most cases, people would be using either uh, 18 millimetre, that's a approximately three quarters of an inch or maybe even one inch uh, material to cut through. I think it would be unusual to go a lot deeper, but if you're making a purpose bench top, then perhaps you want to go all the way through. Um, well, if it's just so you can secure the underside of a path dog, once you've finished drilling as far as you can go uh, with the 20 millimeter bit like this, you could finish off the hole with an eight millimeter uh, brad point cutter, for example, because that's all you need to get that uh, bolt through uh, underneath a path dog. Uh, but if you want to go all the way through regardless, then what I suggest you do is you drill as deep as you can with this and then very carefully finish the rest of the way off by hand. Now, bearing in mind that the accuracy for the use of path dogs comes from the upper section of the hole and therefore uh, take care as the drill passes through the part that's already been drilled whilst you were using uh, the guide. I've had several people already ask me about the MDF that I've been using in these videos and it's called Medite and I'm using Medite moisture resistant. And if you look very closely uh, you'll see that uh, there appears to be three parts to it. The central core which is green and then the outer layers which are a sort of browny colour. And it's a very uh, hard material. It's really, really good and it machines beautifully. I used to get CNC grade high density fibre, uh, but it was becoming more and more difficult to get hold of. Uh, and I was told that this is so good and cheaper uh, that this is what everyone is now using. And it's excellent. And this is just typical of, of Medite. Uh, this is a bit that I drilled out with the 20 millimeter drill bit and it comes out just beautifully in little spirals. And my 20 millimeter drill bit has done well, well over 400, maybe closer to 500 holes now. Uh, and this is absolutely super. Look at that. Really, really lovely. Next, I was asked how clean a hole it makes. Well, um, I've drilled a hole in this. Uh, and unless I look at the video, I can't tell which is the entry and the exit side. I've got a feeling that this is the entry side, but um, may maybe when you look at the video, you'll be able to tell from the, uh, the other marks on here. But that looks pretty clean, and so does that. I'll try and bring that in really close and get that in focus. So that's that side, and that's the other side. Now, um, it's interesting, in the videos I've shot uh, so far, I've shown uh, the uh, drill going straight through into fresh air, and it does leave a very nice clean uh, exit wound, as it were, uh, when it does that. Uh, but to do this one, I had it on this piece of uh, material uh, here, and you can probably see the little uh, mark where it stopped. And that's just a little puncture mark from the three millimeter spike here at the end of the drill. 
Now, what happens is once uh, the drill has finished going through the material it's been pushing its way through, it produces a little disc like this. And this is the actual one from this cut. And that then, uh, I'll just grab one which is here. Uh, this isn't the same one, but it's easier to handle. Uh, that then gets stuck on the end uh, like so. And because this can rotate, it acts like a washer. So all of a sudden, when you get through the hole, and it's a clean hole, uh, the, the drill stops working. And that's what happened uh, with this backing piece here. So this bit acts like a washer, uh, and the drill then doesn't cut any further. Now, when you cut really cheap um, uh, MDF, like, like this piece here, um, this is about as cheap as a uh, poor quality grade as I've ever seen. What happens is, is it's a bit like those ballistic trousers that uh, lumberjacks wear, so the chainsaw doesn't go through their, into their leg. Um, the the, the fibre of the material uh, fluffs up into very, it's almost wool-like pieces, uh, and that tends to clog, uh, and you've got to keep raising the bit uh, frequently uh, to clear it so your vacuum clears it. And when I cut this hole here, you may have seen me uh, raising the bit just to clear uh, the debris. Uh, and that's a bit of a nuisance, frankly. Whereas the better quality MDF, uh, that forms a, a proper shaving, which spirals up and is easily taken away by the vacuum. And let me show you the difference when we drill uh, into medite. Beautifully clean, here's the underside, and there's the top, and that's the little disc that I've just taken from there. Now I'd like to just clear up a bit of misunderstanding about steel rulers. When I did the four cut test, I demonstrated that the uh, first edge uh, that I'd already cut uh, of my piece of wood was straight by putting this. And this is my uh, Veritas straight edge, it came from Lee Valley, uh, and I use it whenever I need to check if something is absolutely straight. And someone said, well, why didn't you use your steel ruler? They're straight. Well, I'm sorry, they're not. Steel rulers are meant for, to be used for measuring from one point to another, uh, but they're not in any way or ever guaranteed to be straight. Uh, let's have a look at this one and I'll prove it to you. And here's my setup. I've put this steel rule across the top of my Veritas straight edge, uh, and I've put a clamp of that end just to hold that in place. Uh, and now I'm going to turn this uh, light on at this end and bring you in close uh, just to see uh, how much uh, of a gap we have here. It's pretty flat up until about this point. And that same person came back to me and said, well, uh, what about the rulers used in the path guide system? Well, they are rulers, but uh, that uh, set of holes, those three, three millimeter holes that we have in each of the path sticks are in a dead straight line because they've been cut on a CNC. So don't worry about what the edge is doing, it's those holes which really matter. I had a visitor popped in the other day and he looked at my mobile bench, uh, which I've used the path guide system to lay out the holes, and he said, well, how did you manage to get that odd distance hole uh, just here? Now I'm going to show you uh, just how I went about it on this, which is my track saw cutting station, which you saw me make quite recently. Uh, here I had the luxury of being able to put my topmost path dog, uh, that's this one here, at one uh, 96 millimeter uh, row further back this way. So I'm going to show you how uh, to put a hole just here, uh, which is pretty much dead on accurate. What I've done is I've got my two uh, path sticks and I'm going to put a pin through the furthest most hole here and into the left hand most hole there. I'm then going to count along six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to take the second path stick and through its end most hole nearest to me in goes that pin. And then when you get up here uh, you can arrange these such that you can get a three millimeter pin through those two holes. Now we've actually created an isosceles triangle here. Uh, that means that this side and that side are the same length. It means that the center line, which is 
this line of holes here uh, is dead centre to where these two lines cross and they cross at that point there. So if I were to drill a hole here it would be in exactly that same line. However, you can't guarantee that that hole is dead centre between two rows and I'm not trying to uh, create that. I'm just trying to create a hole which is offset from these so that I can do the sort of arrangement I had on the mobile bench and this would do that. Now it's possible if you've not got the depth here in your layout that you may need to use a different pair of holes uh, to get this in a different place. I've got one now there and now there's one just there and so on. And it may also be that you've got to change uh, the number of holes at the far end here. Uh, we've got a, a spacing one, two, three, four, five, six there. Uh, you can bring that down. Now that has to be an even number because uh, the middle has to be uh, in line with a, uh, uh, one of the columns of our layout. So I'm now going to clamp this so that I can put a drill through there. Just check that. Yeah, I'm happy with that, so I can now drill. So there's my first one, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing now. Uh, at this end, I've got my one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's important that it's exactly the same layout. So it's six, just as we had before. And I'm going to bring these two together, and there they are, just there. Just check, yep, those are together. And now I'm going to clamp that again, just as I did before. And there's that second hole just there. Now if I've done this accurately, the two holes, that's one there and one there, it should be exactly the same distance as the holes above and below it. Uh, and in this particular case, that means it is 10 units of 96, so 960 millimeters. So that's now in position, and I just need to come to this center position here, identify the hole I need, and I can drill. Well, that's fine. Uh, we've now made a hole where we want our 20 millimeter hole to go. So I'm going to drill out here and here, which then allows me to position the block using the three millimeter pins so that I can then accurately drill out this hole to become 20 millimeters in diameter. Now, I appreciate that not everyone is going to have uh, one of these uh, festal drills with the detachable chuck. Well, it's okay, as long as when you're positioning things, you're not being rough with, with everything, it's not a problem at all. You can have your drill connected all the time. The only caution I would say is that after you've drilled a hole, if you do then release the chuck, make sure that the drill bit is not going to drop through the hole you've just drilled. I've done it, uh, not with this one, thank goodness. I did it in one of the trials, uh, and it absolutely broke my heart when that went all the way through to the concrete floor below. So do make sure that if you're disconnecting uh, the drill bit from the chuck, that, that you don't allow it to drop point first onto the floor. Well, there's the new hole, and I need to check to see if it's straight. Um, my uh, straight edge doesn't stretch all the way down, and we know we can't use rulers, uh, so I'm going to use uh, three of these Veritas small bench dogs. And that is absolutely super. I don't know if you can see uh, from where the, the camera is, but really and truly that is absolutely spot on. And so that means I could put, if I wanted to, uh, a path dog there, uh, and I could use this row here uh, for my normal uh, stop place for the wood and the path dog would be uh, just out of the way of the saw body as it comes to the end of the cut. Well that's it. If you've got any questions about the UJK path guide system please don't hesitate to put them to me uh, and you never know I may answer them via a video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.